Today's topic is about sex drive and how stress can kill it. Now recently I felt really just burned out from life but mainly from the gym. I was going at least four to five times a week for a few months non-stop. I was pushing more and more, harder and harder and honestly I just was no longer feeling excited to go. And you know what, I knew it was time to you know back off a little bit. I needed to give my body a little break and I usually then decide to take off a few days, right? And then I go back for a week of easier workouts and then boom, I'm right back to normal. Well, this time after two or three days off from the gym, I noticed I was super horny, all right? All day long, I couldn't stop thinking about it. And I was also happier. I wasn't as, you know, short-tempered or I didn't have these little mini angry moments for no reason. And I was quickly reminded that my body was just overly stressed and that kills your sex drive. Now, what's interesting is that as I'm recording this right now, I remember a long time ago, my girlfriend and I went on a little vacation together. It was like maybe on the second or third day and I noticed that she was wanting to have sex all the time. Like every day, sometimes twice a day. And it was great because I didn't have to ask for it or initiate it. On the flight back home, I decided to bring it up and asked her, hey, you know what, what causes increase in sex drive? I mean, it was good, but what can we do? And she said, well, I don't know, but I think it's because I wasn't under so much stress anymore. I was relaxing and I could sleep better too. So what's the cause of this, you know, sex drive problems and stress and what's the solution? Well, first, stress can come in all shapes and sizes, all right? There's physical and emotional stress, and basically your hormones will react in a negative manner in both situations of stress. As your stress hormones go up, such as adrenaline and cortisol, your testosterone comes down. If you think about it, logically it makes sense, all right? Nature doesn't want you to have sex and procreate when you're under stress. Your body thinks there is a lack, maybe a lack of food or shelter, or maybe you're hurt and so forth. So this is a very bad time to have a baby and thus it, your body decreases your hormones that can stimulate sex drive, such as testosterone. We all know testosterone is so important for sex drive. Basically, your body thinks it's survival time. Unfortunately, these days, in modern times, we are under constant stress all day long from morning till night. Basically, our minds are processing way more information than ever before, mainly because of the internet and mobile devices. Of course, I'm not here to tell you that you need to avoid stress because this can't be done. Nor am I telling you to, again, never worry, especially when, you know, we all have to pay our bills and you've got kids and work and all these other responsibilities. However, I am telling you that you need to better manage your stress. You need to learn how to lower stress hormones such as cortisol. Now, one of the best ways to lower stress and cortisol levels is to get that deep quality sleep. Ironically though, as stress hormones go up such as cortisol, your sleep hormone melatonin goes down and thus you have a much harder time sleeping especially that deep restful REM sleep you basically have a harder time falling asleep and staying asleep of course I've done lots of videos specifically about this subject and I've listed the most popular videos below in the description area so while it's fresh on your mind take action and scroll down to the description area below and discover just simple ways of instantly improving your stress hormones, which of course will boost your testosterone and your sex drive, regardless of whether you're a man or a woman, but will also help promote just overall better health, fitness, and longevity.